cosmic cycles, the centerpiece of the inspiration are those gorgeous, stunning images that were produced by the, uh, by the production team at the Goddard Space Flight Center and uh, that came to us from the James Webb Space Telescope. So, you know, those, those really served as the initial inspiration for each movement of cosmic cycles. I think the music written for a lot of those um, space movies, space films, are, is fantastic. But what we're seeing tonight at this premiere is not science fiction. It's the actual science. It's the real deal. We're actually looking at the sun. We're actually looking at the solar system. We're actually looking at um, the, the origins of the universe. I think the entire work um, it should make us feel that we can, we can expand beyond ourselves. I know some people might look at the universe and say, you know, gee, we're so little compared to the rest of the universe. But the other way to look at it is, is that there's so much out there that we can expand into and uh, learn about, which makes us into better human beings you actually have black holes. And so um, we actually took a sampling of that sound and uh, we incorporated it uh, into our synthesizer. And so when you, when you see the black holes in tonight's performance, you're actually gonna hear what a black hole sounds like to the human ear um, while you're looking at the images of the black hole. And it's an incredibly spooky, eerie sound. Expressing the idea of space and, and the unknown fits music very, very well. Because music, after all, is, uh, you know, it's, it's not words. It, we don't really know how music affects human beings. I mean, we try to study it, but what is it that all of a sudden makes us emotionally weak when we hear one kind of music or, uh, or proud when we hear your different kind of music. It's, it's all a great mystery. And of course, space is the other great mystery. So they, they, they complement each other very well. 